Hi friends, today we are going to talk about the top programming languages in demand for 2021. Before we get started though, make sure to hit that subscribe button, leave a like and comment down below other videos you want to see related to tech and coding. That being said, thank you to this user right here who always has great comments and great questions. Okay, let's get started. Today we are going to be talking about the most in-demand programming languages for 2021. As you know, programming languages and the demand of them fluctuate from year to year. However, I've done a lot of research on this and as someone who is in the industry, compiled together a list of the top ones for 2021. Coming in at number one is Python. I'm sure that it's no surprise to a lot of you. Python has been growing and growing in demand for a while now, and it's a great beginning uh, programming language for anyone who's just kind of getting their feet wet into code because of its readability. Python is a free open source programming language with a ton of different documentation around it. So if you are someone who is looking to get into programming or coding, learning Python for your first language is a great place to start. Coming in at number two, another no surprise here is JavaScript. JavaScript is probably my favorite programming language, which I'm sure some of you will either really agree with or really disagree with, but I love how you can build both the front end of things with JavaScript and also build a back end with it. JavaScript is an object oriented programming language that is used to create so many different things from web applications, uh, really any kind of web development, uh, mobile apps, what else? I'm saying it's so many things and I can't even name anything, but pretty much anything, uh, virtual reality, pretty much anything can be created with JavaScript or a lot of things. I shouldn't say anything, but a lot of things can. So JavaScript is coming in at number two for the most in demand language. Once again, JavaScript is a love or hate language, but I do think it's a great language to really start learning with. Okay. That brings me to number three, which is Java. Java is commonly used across so many different companies, so many different, even startups still use Java. It's a very in demand language. Java has been around for a long time and has been one of the world's most in-demand languages for a long time. Experienced developers with Java skills can gain a lot, a lot of money and a very high salary with this skill. And that brings me to number four, which is Kotlin. A lot of people say Kotlin was built to be better than Java and people who are developing in Kotlin, I'm sure would agree that it is, uh, but that's to be determined. But number four would definitely be Kotlin. It's high in demand. A lot of job postings are now requiring Kotlin or some kind of knowledge of Kotlin. So it definitely is creeping up there as to one of the top programming languages. Some companies that use Kotlin as their main programming language include Pinterest, uh, Postmates, Coursera, and so many more. Kotlin developers can earn up to a high six figures with this skill set. And that brings me to number five, which is Swift. I have this weird love hate relationship with Swift personally. Maybe it's because I haven't developed in it for too long yet, but Swift is very popular and still gaining traction. If you go onto a lot of job posting sites, you will see that a lot of them are requiring some kind of knowledge of Swift. Uh, so if you are looking to pick up a programming language and really want to especially get into the mobile side of things, Swift is a great way to go. One thing to note with Swift though is it is really a niche market. You are looking, if you are learning Swift, to focus of course solely on building iOS apps for uh, iPhones, Apple Watches, different things like that. So while Swift is very high in demand, you are going to be in a very niche market with that language. Coming in next is C and C++. There are a lot of developers who just skip over completely learning these languages and go straight to something like Python or JavaScript. And then there's a lot of developers who argue the importance of learning C and C++. And these languages have been around for so long and are widely still used. So if you are someone who has kind of an interest in learning this, I still think it is, has a ton of great value to learn it. A benefit to learning C is that you are learning the fundamentals, the foundations of programming at a very, at the lowest level possible, which is something that a lot of developers will not get to do if they don't learn this language. And a benefit for C++ is it allows you to have control at a much higher level than a lot of other programming languages would allow for. Coming in at number seven is Go. Go was developed in 20, I think 2014 by Google for the purpose of creating web applications and APIs. Okay, actually that was a mistake. Go was created in 2007, let's be clear here. And it's a simple language to learn and it's been gaining a lot of traction recently. 
Go, also known as Golang, was created to meet the needs of programmers working on very large scale projects. It's an easy language to pick up, especially if you already have the foundation of another programming language. Go is continuing to see a rise in growth of demand and even on job postings. So if you already know a programming language, then I would learn Go. I don't think it'd be my first language I would learn, uh, but you know, it's still very high in demand and definitely possible to learn as your first language. Coming in at number eight, I know you're going to kind of cringe at this one, is PHP. Uh, PHP was my first, my first language I worked with um, at my first job and I remember starting it and I was like, why am I wasting my time learning this language? PHP sucks. Like I had such a negative connotation about it before I even jumped into it, but I'm so grateful I actually did learn it because it's not that bad as everyone says, in my opinion. And PHP builds up to 80% of websites on the internet. So although a lot of people kind of cringe at PHP, it is so, so important to have some of those foundations. PHP is considered to be relatively easy to pick up for beginners. And I think one of the reasons for that is there is such a large community online. Take it from someone who was really nervous to learn it at first. I found there to be such a big community online, so much documentation, so many tutorials that if you are considering picking up PHP, you definitely will have the support from online. Coming in at number nine is R. R is essentially just a different version of the S language. Many programmers who pick up R already have a foundation of Python and or JavaScript. It's not impossible for it to be your first language you pick up, but usually developers have some sort of background already in programming. While R is still in demand, it's not as popular as it once was, and that's why it's on number nine, as one of its rivals being Python is continuing to grow and grow in popularity. I do think though there is some point into learning R of course and is used for tons of different things, um, especially if you want to get more involved in the data side of things, R is essential to learning. And coming in at number 10 is Ruby. Ruby has been around for a while now and it's a great programming language to pick up if you're completely starting from scratch. There are so much documentation online, so much community support, so Ruby is another great one to pick up if you are just kind of getting your feet wet and starting to learn a programming language. Okay, those are my top 10 programming languages to pick up in 2021. That being said, there are some programming languages that have been around for such a long time that you can kind of niche into an area if you want. A lot of systems are built on really old languages that there aren't as many developers nowadays with those skill sets. So if you're someone who has that, you will get paid more. And then there's the other side of things where you can kind of be the jack of all trades and know a little about a lot of programming languages and be in demand because of that as well. So there is no one path, no right language to learn first. You really need to sit back and kind of figure out, I like to say work backwards as to why are you learning a programming language and kind of figure out why the big why before you pick what language to learn. For example, if you are learning a programming language for the mere reason of becoming an app developer, then the language you pick up will be very different than someone who is learning a programming language to understand the lowest level, the fundamentals of programming, or to become a web developer, for example. There's so many different paths that you can take with programming languages that not one kind of path fits everyone. Okay, thank you for watching this video. Let me know down in the comments what your first programming language was that you learned or if you are someone who's just kind of getting uh, into the industry and thinking of learning a programming language, let me know which one you are thinking of. Make sure to hit that subscribe and like button and comment what other videos you want to see. I'll make sure to give you a shout out and make the videos you want to see. Thanks everyone.